Hello guys, this is Anil Karya from Reviews Maniac and today we have got the unboxing of the Sony Xperia ZR. First and foremost we have the cell phone out here. As we further dig in we have a 23 milliamp battery, the USB to micro USB cord which will be used for both data transfer as well as charging, the charger with the port for USB cord. Sony as a brand has been known for music so the earphones are bound to be extremely clear. The extra earbuds with various sizes are also provided. We have the rest of the paperwork which includes the warranty. Let us have a look at the external features of this phone. The top left we have the front camera. Flash with 13 megapixel lens which has a nice silver finish to the lens. On the right hand side we have the power button, the volume rockers as well as the camera key. Rubbery plastic panels are provided to lock the device and making it waterproof near the 3.5 mm jack as well as the micro USB slot. We have the micro USB port on the left hand side which is used for charging as well as data transfer. The bottom is pretty empty just as the microphone. Now let me put in the battery and show you how the device looks like. You can remove the back cover by unhooking the bottom section. You have a sliding tray to slot in the micro sim. Here I place in the battery. We can see that the device works pretty fast straight away after the startup and there is no lag at all. Now we move on to the benchmarking. We first start with the quadrant standard benchmark. A score of 8200 on the quadrant standard benchmark. Moving on to Nina Mark 2.
as the Nina Mark test shows a frame rate of 60 FPS. Last but not the least, the Antutu benchmark test. In the meantime, I'll enlighten you with the technical specifications of this device. 2 GB of RAM to back the 1.5 GHz quad-core processor. The device has an internal storage of 8 GB, out of which only 4.36 is available to the user. The camera does not stand out to the Sony standards. We observe pretty much disturbance and noise in the images, may it be in the daylight as well as the night. With XMOD technology, we were expecting much more out of this camera. If you can shell out a couple of more thousands, you can buy the Google Nexus 5 which is around the 29k mark for the 16GB and the 32k mark for the 32GB. The Antutu scores reach around 20,000 which is way above the Nexus 4. I will now play a video showing both the audio as well as video clarity. Sony has provided a couple of trailers as well as songs which are in high definition the playback is pretty amazing the speakers too are just perfect For more videos, please stay tuned.